Hey guys, welcome back to our. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so today we've got something super exciting. I'm stoked about this. Okay. okay, so if you know, sometimes there's some weird things that happen in the art world. This was from actually 2019, so I'm a little bit behind, but um, this is the earliest I've been able to like get my hands on things and have money to spend on these kinds of things. So let's do this. Okay, so there's a guy named Anish Kapoor. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Um, but he created something that was apparently the blackest black paint to exist and basically put copyrights on it and was like, I am the only one that can use this, right? Okay. Um, which, terrible. Like, art is to be shared. Just like, if you have a technique, you share it. You share artwork. You don't gatekeep these things. But this man, gatekeep, gate kept, gate caught. He made it for himself, and he wouldn't give it to anyone. So, here comes um, Stuart Stemple. Um, Stuart created what is known as Black 3.0, which is said to be the universe's blackest black paint. And he basically made it um, that anyone can buy it and use it except for Kapoor. Literally anyone. As long as you're not Kapoor. As long as you're not going to give it to Kapoor, um, you can use this. So, I, um, I went a little bit ham. And, uh, bought several things off their site besides the black is black so we're gonna test them out and see how awesome they are maybe not all in this video because I have some ideas of some other things but we're at least gonna try the black is black today so let's unbox also if you like these types of videos um, if you like me if you would like me to try other things so that way you don't have to buy them um, you know subscribe um, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and if you want to see all of the other work that I do, because not everything I do goes on TikTok, make sure that you follow me on my other social media channels. That is Design by Mercedes on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and Design Mercedes on Twitter. Okay. So first, adorable box. I love this. Bloop. And this came really fast too from ordering it, which was really nice. So let's see what it looks like. Uh, oh, made by artists for artists. I love that. Yeah, because art should be shared. Let's, art should be shared. And this box is so cute. I'm sorry, I love a good packaging product. Package designers, you guys do, you do good work. Okay. So, get rid of this. Okay, so I ordered several things from them because I wanted to try out, once I got on the website, I basically was like mad scrolling and added way too many things to my cart, but they all look so cool and I just, I had to. So first thing out, this is the black 3.0. So this is supposed to be the world's blackest black that everyone except for Kapoor can buy. Okay. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, weird. So if you can see the packaging right here, I've got little strikes of what I'm assuming is supposed to be like the blackest black paint. Um, and then 3.0. Let's open it. Oh wow, this is actually, so this is a pretty big ass thing of paint. Um, 
it is super flat, super matte, and ultra pigmented. Shake well before use. Um, this is going to be super duper cool. Um, I have an idea to do with this, um, specifically with some detailing work. So I'm going to use a very small amount, but I want to do a test with this and with another acrylic too, just like on a sheet of paper so we can really see the difference of this. We are going to test the blackest black in this video. That's this. That's the first part of this testing all of this culture hustle stuff. We are testing the blackest black. So let me clean up and get set up and we will do a canvas test. Okay, so I have two different papers set up here. I have a canvas board as well as a mixed media um, pad. And what I want to do is actually I want to test the black 3.0 against just a basic Liquitex acrylic black as well as a PASA acrylic marker. And I just want to see the difference. I want to see how it coats. I want to see what it does first before I test it with what I'm going to do here. So first, let's start with the PASA marker. So the PASA on the canvas, it coats fine. You know, it's a thinner acrylic doesn't look terrible. Um, um, so now let's try the Liquitec Basics. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just do a little um, bloop out on a pan here so we can see the texture difference too. So tiny little bloop. This is just normal Liquitex acrylic. So just a little bit on each. Obviously the pasta is drying down faster. Um, the pasta to me kind of coats a little bit easier at times. Um, they look pretty identical on the canvas board. Now we're going to try the black 3.0. So the directions were to shake it and then use the tiniest bit. Um, okay, so we're going to use the tiniest little bit. Literally, I did a drop. And let's see. Oh, wow, that's really weird. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can... It's like, can you see that? I think I'm too close. It's like weird bloopiness. Okay, so let's give it a try. So it did say to shake well, I might need to shake it more. So first impression, I think I need to shake it more. We're going to try a second bloop and see if that helps it because that first one definitely looking watery. Now it does say to apply in two coats on shiny surfaces, but none of these are shiny surfaces. So let's see. the more shaken how this looks now the other thing I want to try is I do want to try a complete dry brush because I did have a dry brush originally for this acrylic so let's grab another brush here okay so brand new brush dry brush and let's test it so here is with the dry brush Oh, I feel like that makes a huge difference. And again, 
Yeah, the dry brush to the wet makes a huge difference. Okay, so let's let these dry in full and do an up close compare and contrast. So as you can see, with the pasta marker, it's already completely dried down. This is the acrylic. This is the first and second attempt after shaking and then with the dry brush. Now I would say the dry brush definitely had the best um, coverage there. Is it better than the Liquitex? I don't know. Um, to me, it actually does look much darker than the acrylic. Like it's drying down a lot darker than the acrylic is. You can see how it's going this matte like flat and you can still see the lights shining on this one. So that's a huge difference. And let's look at the mixed media paper. So starting right here, let's see if I can get this to focus. So starting here, we've got the pasta marker. This was the Liquitex. These are the two not greatly shaken and then with the wet brush and then the dry brush. Um, it honestly looks, it looks darker to me. Like, it's definitely almost like a richer, deeper black, if that makes sense. That's what at least it feels like anyways. Okay, so we've done our swatch comparisons and honestly, looking at it, like, it's, it's really, turning on my phone flashlight to, to shine on there because it just, to me it looks like it's definitely drying down darker and that's with using a dry brush. The wet brush, mm -mm. using a wet brush going in on it, not good. Um, but the dry brush, definitely drying down very nice and matte. It, it is almost actually like the pasta dry down. I like the pasta marker with that flat matte color. But I want to see how this is going to work in a real scenario. Because while this is like, this is cool, I get it, but I'm going to use it for specific things. So here's what I want to do. I want to paint in my little resin ghosts. Because realistically, that's like what I'm, I'm using some of this paint for, right? So they have detailing that they need, just small amounts of detailing, but I want to see how it sits on top of this material. Um, I figure I'll test the pasta marker along with it too. Maybe the pasta marker will just be on the little one and we'll do the large chest, um, half acrylic, half the black 3.0. We'll see how it does. And I'm specifically testing it on the resin pieces because this is what my real life application will be. Yes, I'll definitely use it on like a painting and stuff, but for more fine detailing work, that's what I use a lot of the blacks for. Um, and for me, like a black is a black is a black that covers. So as long as it's covering good, that's great. But where I run into issues with a lot of black paints and things is on odd materials. So that's what I really want to test out. So let's try it. We're going to keep our two tests right over here, like our test swatches, but I'm going to start with the little baby ghost. Now the baby ghost, I, I'm going to use the pasta on, um, and I do have two very fine detailer passes to try with this. So let's make sure this fine detailer is working first. Looks great. And let's go in and do the little details of his mouth. And you see why I have problems with the detailing because it is resin. Like, and you can paint on resin. Um, but it's just, some of the pieces I make, it's very hard because of how small the detailing needs to be. Like, I don't actually even know if this is gonna be too big. Like, it fits, but is it doing the job that I want it to do? I don't know. I guess we'll see once it dries and how the coverage is.
Because the big thing is this is being painted on a plastic surface. And something that I've noticed with the Pasa pens is they're great for what they're great for, but for for strange strange materials, they don't always work the best. As you can see, like it's just not sticking right there. And it's probably not going to. So this isn't the best option. So we're going to grab this smaller detail pen and I'm actually going to dip into the 3.0 black first because I want to give this the most fair chance possible. I'm going to use it with a dry brush and I'm going to do this half with the 3.0 black. So now it did say for these on the instructions that if it's shiny, it will need two coats. So I will happily paint one coat down and then we'll go back in once it's dry and we will paint a second coat. And he does have a little, a little mouth, a tiny little mouth. So we'll just do that half of it, okay? So here's the side starting. I'm also going to get a different brush to do the acrylic on this side. While this one's drying, let's do the acrylic. Okay, so again, dry brush right into the acrylic. And it kind of covers like a dream. So as you can see though with the acrylic, while it covers nicely, see how it's very splotchy inside of there. So I'm gonna let this dry down too, and we'll come back and we'll do our second coat. Okay, okay. now that this has dried, now that this is dried, let's go back in and do a second coat. So we're gonna do the black 3.0 side first. Oh wow, and that's really dark. Um, So while that first coat didn't sit, like was very streaky, they did say to use two coats on shiny materials and like, that's like black black on him. All right, let's do a little detailing of the mouth in there. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay. We're gonna let this dry, and now we're gonna do this side. So you can see this side is already fully coated, but it doesn't look as black. Um, I don't know how well it's reading on the monitor that it's not as black, but it's just, it doesn't seem as black. So I am gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna give it a second coat as well, just to see if I can kind of pull up some of that richness because I, I really did want these eyes to be very very black almost like you look into it and you're looking into the void Oop, his little mouth okay so while this did cover in one coat it didn't look exactly how I wanted it to this second coat's now drying and I'm gonna humor myself and I'm gonna try to go back in with the pasta on the little guy um, you can see it's it's terrible. So let's give it a round two. Okay. 
Okay, eyes are done, and I need the little one for the mouth detail. You get a nice close up of my thumb there. Like that. Alright. So we'll let all these dry down again. And uh, we'll come back and we'll, we'll talk about it. We've tested it out. And I sounded pretty skeptical. I, I know I did. However, now that I see everything dried down... There's a huge difference in the way these are actually physically drying down on the paper. Um, and I'm going to do my best to try to show you. So I've cranked up my ring light because I'm hoping that this can actually show what, what I'm seeing. So here, here is the little canvas board, right? I can get it fully into frame. Okay. So here's the little canvas board and we have pasta the acrylic, the wet brush where I didn't think I shook it enough, the wet brush where I shook it enough, and then the dry brush. And you can see in that light reflection, do you see the difference in that dry down? Like, it's pretty crazy how deep it is. Like, the, the dry down on it just it just it makes it literally flat matte black it it looks even more matte than the pasa which which is a matte dry down normally so then on the mixed media paper okay starting over on this side we have the pasa liquid text acrylic and then the three different types of the paint um the black 3.0 and you can just see the difference in depth of that black color now the final real test of this is for what i would be utilizing it for which is for the little resin pieces um so first up is our little mini ghosty that the pasa marker was used on um as you can see, uh, he, he don't look great. Um, trying to get him to focus. He doesn't look great. Like, he's all splotchy. You can see, like, it just, it didn't, it didn't cover well. So, the pasta markers have been out. I know they weren't going to work for a while. Um, but I figured this is a good comparison. But then when we look at the comparison between the acrylic, like the basic acrylic, and the 3.0 black here. Let's just take a moment, okay? So on this side is the acrylic, and this side is a 3.0 black. You can literally see how the light is just not reflecting at all in that 3.0 black. But it is in the acrylic side. Like, look, at it's just, it's absorbing all light. It is legitimately creating a black void in his eye socket. It's, I, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty magical. If, like, if I, if I do say so myself, like this, like, like, look at that. Like, I just, I don't understand how, right there. There's even still, like, it's, it, like, it's just, it's literally so flat and matte. And I understand, I can mix a matte, matte medium into the acrylic to pull down this gloss, right? I can do that. I understand that. However, I don't think it's going to give it the same depth of black color. I just don't think it will. Um, and I do have a black matte medium that I may test out at a later date or a, a, a matte medium that I can mix with the acrylic, but this is just, it's drying down, and it really is just super black. Um, so, black 3.0, um, does, I mean, it works, this works, 
if you want the blackest of black ink, it works. Now, is it worth the price point on it? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm really excited and happy about it, but for my purposes, I also didn't want light reflection on my resin pieces. So for me, this is great. Am I going to use this for my acrylic paintings? Probably not. Um, it is extremely expensive, and I think if I want a matte medium, I'm going to mix in like an acrylic matte medium into my paint. Um, and while I know it won't have the same depth to it, I just, I don't know if I can justify spending this to do large paintings because of how costly it is. Um, so that, that's my review. There you go. Um, again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Um, I will be testing out those other products that I got from uh, Culture Hustle as well later on. Um, so make sure you subscribe to come back to those. And um, follow me on my other social media networks. That is Designed by Mercedes on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And Design Mercedes on Twitter. Um, and thanks for watching.